Hi there, this is Urs Heckmann and here's a little video that shows how to create a basic patch in Zebra. When you first open Zebra, it looks like this. So the first thing to do is go to the look control and choose unempty dark cores because it looks much better and is better suited for this purpose. When you press a key, you hear so there's a delay on the signal path. We don't need that for now. So what I do is I double click here and the delay is off. See? Okay. Next thing is we go to a synthesis page. This is where all the modules are. What you see here is there are two oscillators, oscillator 1, oscillator 2, a noise and a filter. And these four modules are also here on the left hand side. When I click oscillator 2, it gets highlighted. So what I can do is, I can always see what's in the signal path and highlight the actual module. So now to create a funky little sound, I propose to first remove the noise out of the signal path. We don't need it. What we do then is, we put oscillator 2 on the second lane. So now we have one oscillator and a filter and another oscillator purely going through a mixer here. Mm, what we want to do is we take this filter down here, we put another filter in there and a cool type which is called the XMF. XMF stands for cross modulation filter. It's this module. What it does is it's a more of an analog type filter and it can take an sidechain input for uh, filter frequency modulation or filter FM. To set it up, we connect the sidechain to channel 2. This is where we've got oscillator 2. And then we mood oscillator 2, or actually the lane or channel. So what we have now is a new structure. We've got oscillator 1 going through the cross modulation filter, going through the uh, VCF1, which is a uh, like a normal digital filter. And oscillator 2 also can modulate the filter frequency of the XMF. What I do now is I press a key and tweak some parameters. First, I open the cutoff again. This is the VCF1. Then, we close the cutoff of the XMF. Add a bit of resonance. And add a bit of filter color. Now you hear oscillator 2 modulating the cutter frequency of this filter. So it's more fun when we put oscillator 2 into single mode. Take away the detune. Then tune it massively. See, this is this is a basic patch which can be used as a foundation for a uh, let's say a, a vintage modular blubbery thing. Um, what else can we do? We could, for instance, we can take the XMF, put it on the lane from oscillator two, set the filter FM to zero because we don't really need it. Then what we do is we first mute the first channel and unmute the second channel. What does this do now? Wait. Yeah, it's the second synthesizer lane. Now we want um, an envelope. Um, it's down here in the list out of the screen. I select envelope 3 from the list. Envelope 3 appears here because only the um, modulators that are currently active are also visible here. So what I do now is I add a bit of envelope on this. See, it's 
quite simple. Um, we can mute this too. And then what we can do is we can, for instance, oh, we can set our little FM synthesizer. If we take FM01, which is frequency modulation oscillator or FM oscillator and FM02. So what you see now is whatever um, this starts scrolling and whatever you click goes into the focus of the of this pane here to always keep it inside. So we have FM01 going through FM02 and there like upside down. So what we do is we click in the middle between them and then exchange them. Now they're in the same order as here. And what we hear is, it's just a sign. Um, we have to use the FM input to add a bit of effect. And then we tune That's one thing that I forgot to mention is that each of these channels here in the grid is stereo. So um, each thing, like an oscillator, can be panned or can have a stereo spread or something. And the filters are all also always operating in stereo. So what we do here is we have two stereo FM oscillators with a Stereo width goes to 100%, so one is on the left, one is on the right. It still sounds a bit mono, but we detune it a bit. Like, uh, let's go, go to 7 here, and also to 7 here. Now we have got a stereo pitch. So in Zebra you do like a uh, super source or um, um, unison patches within a single patch. And as you can see, you've got four channels. So you can basically set up four different synths that can play at once. Whatever you want to do. And the same principle as the connection of the modules also works for the for the effects. We've seen the delay in the beginning. We put the delay down here. There's also a reverb. I switch it on. You see there's a send. The send goes to the second channel. Send one goes to the second channel. And there's a return for the second channel. What I do is I set the master to zero. Now we only have the reverb. And whatever module you click here appears here. It's like above, but it's always just, it's a bit of a different type than the racks here, but it kind of works as well. So here we have got like a reverb thing. And we also on the master have the dry signal with the delay. What we can do now, for instance, is um, uh, what could we do? We could, for instance, have, I mean, you see it's already, it's uh, parallel, you know. What we also can do is we can put some mod effects, it's chorus and stuff, only on the reverb, like a phaser, for instance. <laughs> Yeah. 
so now the phaser is only on the reverb. So that's the basic operation of Zebra. Four channels on the top for the voice, for each voice, and then everything goes through three channels of effects. And this should be it for now.